Linear equations are the building blocks of algebra. They represent relationships where the rate of change is constant, straight lines on a graph. Whether you're dealing with simple equations like y equals mx plus b, or solving them in multiple variables, linear equations are fundamental to understanding more complex mathematics. Systems of linear equations take the simplicity of a simple linear equation and multiply the complexity. Now we're looking for intersections of lines, planes, or even higher dimensional spaces. Quadratics take us from the world of straight lines to parabolas. You can often solve these in a variety of ways, getting zero, one, or two real solutions. You can always use the quadratic formula, which every good math student should know. Moving to polynomial equations of higher degrees, the challenge really starts to escalate. Each additional degree adds another root, and finding these isn't always straightforward. Rational equations introduce the complexity of fractions into polynomials. The solutions aren't just about finding the roots, but also considering where the function might be undefined. Exponential equations are where things start to really grow. They're everywhere in mathematics, modeling anything that grows or shrinks at a constant rate. Solving them often involves taking logarithms or rewriting the base to turn these into a linear equation. Speaking of logarithms, they're the inverse of exponentials. Solving them can be tricky, but once you get the hang of it, logarithms become a powerful tool. Trigonometric equations tie together algebra and geometry. They describe the relationship between angles and sides in triangles. Looking at sine and cosine, these periodic functions often have infinite solutions because of their cyclic nature. Quintic equations, or fifth degree polynomials, can't be solved using a general formula like cubics or quartics. This is where numerical methods like Newton's method come into play. It's an iterative process where we keep refining our guesses, effectively solve or at least approximate roots of very complex equations. Differential equations are where calculus really shines. Ordinary differential equations, ODEs, involve finding a function that satisfies a relationship between its derivatives. These equations model everything from simple harmonic motion to complex dynamical systems. Integral equations, on the other hand, are a step beyond differential equations, where the unknown function appears under an integral. These equations are crucial in fields like mathematical physics and engineering. Solving them requires a solid grasp of calculus. Partial differential equations, or PDEs, are titans in the mathematical universe. They involve multiple variables and partial derivatives describing systems of more than one independent variable. They often come into play with physics and engineering, but their mathematical complexity often requires techniques like separation of variables, Fourier series, or even sometimes numerical methods. In complex analysis, the Cauchy-Riemann equations are the gatekeepers to differentiability. They link the real and imaginary part of a complex function ensuring the function behaves nicely. These functions are central to understanding holomorphic functions, functions that are complex differentiable. They lead to powerful results, like Cauchy's theorem and the residue theorem. Functional equations are equations where the unknown are functions rather than variables. These equations might describe how a function behaves under certain operations, like adding inputs or scaling them. They're very versatile, and they show up in areas from number theory to dynamic systems. The solutions often require really clever substitutions, fixing points, or even more abstract techniques depending on the complexity. If you want to keep this wild mathematical train rolling, click the video on the screen. I'll see you in that one.